my name is Wayne Bruce. I'm the CEO and founder of C-Centric. I've been with C-Centric for about 20 years. I actually started the company back in 2001. Um, so I still um, remain the CEO. Um, my early career, I studied a Bachelor of Arts and uh, I got married young, 22. And so I sat what they used to call a Commonwealth Public Service exam because if you got a particular mark, they would give you a job in the public service and they would provide you with study leave so I could complete my final year of university part time. Um, so I did that and I uh, chose to join the Department of Health and Community Services back when in the, under the Hawke government. And uh, so I worked with the Commonwealth Rehab Service for about seven years, ended up running a rehab centre in Melbourne. And uh, then my wife and I wanted a sea change, so we decided to move out of Melbourne and move to a, a quaint little spot on um, coastal Victoria, about an hour and a half's drive from Melbourne called Ocean Grove. And, uh, and, and then we settled there and then I worked Continued to work in rehabilitation for about another seven years uh, with a um, Victorian government entity that was set up to compete with private rehab providers to perhaps keep them honest. And uh, so it had a, a commercial element to it. And I did that and I ended up becoming the client services manager for the region. And uh, then I did an MBA. And while I was doing that, I met a a guy called Bob Gilliver, and he was a finance director at the time with a company called Lincroft Consulting. Lincroft Consulting was one of the sort of top three national executive recruiters. And uh, one thing led to another, and I ended up joining them back in, uh, just let me think, it must have been 1982. I'm showing my age. I was late 20s then, I think. And uh, like most people, I fell into executive recruitment. And, uh, but I found I, I really loved it. And uh, it's what I would now call my vocation. I found something that I was good at and that I really enjoyed doing. So every day I can go to work with a spring of my step, which is nice. Um, so yeah, so I worked there for 10 years and um, became a, um, uh, equity director with the owner of the business and uh, worked across all industries, you know, bringing in business and delivering senior level search jobs, uh, including we won the bid for the uh, 2000 Olympics to help them recruit all their sort of senior management staff. So it was a great project to be involved in and that led me to move to Sydney from Melbourne, where I'd grown up. And, uh, you know, there was a good opportunity for us to network with a whole lot of Olympic sponsors and other companies and build our business in Sydney. So uh, in 2001, I left and, you know, I went from running a sort of five state operation, 100 odd staff and so on, to being me. And... Anyway, I thought that at the time, I'd always enjoyed the healthcare industry. I'd developed healthcare as a major market for Lincroft while I was there. And, uh, and I thought there's very few, if any, specialist companies that focus on proper executive search at the senior levels and just focus in healthcare. So I took a bit of a gamble and thought that there was a market that could be developed and um, and I guess there was, because 20 years later, it's gone from being me. We grew it very gradually, and uh, now we've got 12 staff, and uh, which is, you know, is not a big company, but it's quite large when you think we only do senior level roles and we only do healthcare. So fortunately, we've grown a business that's got a good reputation and a good brand. Um, you know, hopefully clients and candidates enjoy dealing with us. The staff enjoy what they do. We're, we're very lucky that we've created a culture where people want to stay and perform and be successful and do good work because 
you know, at the end of the day, what we're doing impacts people's lives. And if we make good placements with high quality people, then we're having a positive impact on the community. So I think we can all, you know, feel um, a sense of pride's not the right word, but you, you know, it's it's along those lines where you, you, you can go home every night thinking, you know, I did something good for the world. So that's nice, that's nice to be able to do that and make a living. I think everything we do, if we if we do a bad job, then we'll make a negative difference. But if we do a good job and make sure to the extent we can through doing proper due diligence and assessment and so on and so forth that we're placing good people into good companies, uh, good jobs. So we're making at a more micro level, we're making a difference to people's life, uh, to the individual's life that's going into a new career or a new position. Um, and, you know, we are making a positive difference to the company because obviously having good people at all levels, particularly in leadership roles, is, is a key ingredient to success. So, you know, we've, we've had long relationships with lots of different companies where we've placed, in some cases, most of their executive team and over a long period of time and, you know, you, you feel good about that. Um, so I think that's making a difference t to an individual, it's making a difference to a, an organisation. Um, and yeah, then pretty much whatever they're working in public health care, private health care, digital health, aged care, you know, whatever it might be, they're, they're, they're caring for people and they're producing positive outcomes. So I think that's, that's how we make a difference. You know, I think we're very fortunate <clears throat> that we deal with uh, a group of people that are, are pre pretty clever, pretty well educated, pretty decent people to deal with. Um, and, um, you know, research we've done as a company into what people are looking for in their job, the things that come out is they want a challenging role, they want to be able to make a difference, they want to have a sense of purpose. And, you know, money's a hygiene factor. It's not the major motivator for people as long as they're being paid at a competitive market salary. Tip, most people are very happy with that. It's more about, you know, the challenge of the role and how it can stretch them, how they can have an impact and, uh, you know, how they can develop their skills so that they can continue to grow their careers. So, yeah, just to build on that, um, as I say, it's, it's because... Um, it's, they're pleasant people to deal with and you enjoy it and you can have stimulating conversations and a lot of the candidates we deal with, I mean sometimes, I, you know, I've certainly had candidates that I've dealt with on and off once or twice a year talking about potential opportunities, you know, and 10 years later it finally gets to the point where their uh, children have finished high school or whatever it is, their personal circumstances allow them to perhaps relocate to a different state for an opportunity. So if you if you are professional and pleasant and respectful when you deal with people, then I think that will come back to you in spades and they will respect our staff uh, as being values driven, being ethical, talking to them about interesting opportunities and, and therefore, you know, I think one of the tests for us is when we ring someone, will they call us back? or the, will they ignore us? And, um, you know, largely people ring us back because they know we're decent people and we're talking about good opportunities. So, so I guess, you know, yeah, when I worked in rehabilitation, uh, you were helping people. Um, but I suppose you were helping people recover from something and so uh, it, it could be a bit draining sometimes because you're sort of absorbing their issues and if you do that for seven or eight hours a day it, it, it can drain you a bit um, well it's nevertheless very satisfying and very important whereas whereas what we do it's a positive interaction with people it's talking to them about you know would you like a nice new job and and so as I say it's very positive a very positive sort of relationship you have with candidates and employers and so on and you know with our own staff internally.